There seems to be a lot of debate over how the name Bashir should be pronounced. The pronunciations range from Bashir to Bicker and Biker, but we're sticking with Bashir, since that's what Wikipedia says is right. Bashirs are classified in the same family as the lonely reedfish, the sole living species of its genus. Because we don't want the reedfish to feel left out, we'll talk about them in today's episode as well. There are approximately 15 living species in the Bashir fish family, though new research will likely lead to the discovery of new species. Bashirs are funny-looking fish for a number of reasons. The most obvious distinction is that instead of sporting a single dorsal fin, Bashirs have anywhere from 5 to 18 finlets that are all separated from each other. So, it looks like they have little singular flags flying over their backs. This has led to another Bashir common name, the flagfish. Reedfish also have these individual finlets adorning their snaky, eel-like bodies. Bashirs and reedfish also have fan-shaped, fleshy pectoral fins. These fins are useful for capturing prey, and we'll be discussing why towards the end of this video. Bashir scales are rhombus-like in shape. These scales are covered in a shiny material similar to the scales of gars, some other oddballs of the fish world. And, to top it off, Bashirs can breathe air. They'll compress their bodies in an exhale, and then, as their body cavities bounce back to their original shape, air will be gulped in through spiracles, another feature not often seen in other fishes. So, yeah, these are some strange fish. Bashirs and reedfish can be found in tropical and subtropical Africa. They live in shallow, freshwater systems, usually towards the shores. Reedfish specifically seem to favor areas with reed plants, hence the common name. Bashir homes include rivers, lakes, swamps, and floodplains. In fact, they utilize these floodplains for breeding. Bashirs begin breeding with the onset of the rainy season during the summer months. Females will lay 200 to 300 eggs that are fertilized by males in vegetated areas. These eggs are left on their own and hatch about four days later. The young fish emerge with external gills, not unlike the axolotls we've talked about previously. After a few weeks of development, the external gills are no longer present. Reedfish have a slightly different breeding strategy. The female will deposit a few eggs near the male's anal fins. He'll fertilize the eggs and then spread them among aquatic plants, to which the eggs will instantly stick. The parents will repeat this multiple times. The eggs hatch within 70 hours, but the babies will remain attached to the plants and stay there for about three weeks, staying nourished from their yolk sacs. Once this is depleted, they'll begin eating. Bashirs and reedfish typically reach about a foot in length, but they've been documented as reaching more than triple this. They have little shark-like teeth that help them hold on to prey while they're active at night. Menu items for these fish include small fish, amphibians like frogs, aquatic insects, and even terrestrial insects. That's right, these fish are able to use their fins as a means of moving around on land. As long as they stay moist, bashirs and reedfish can even hunt terrestrial animals. This is because they have modified swim bladders that act as lungs. These fish can remain outside of water in damp conditions for hours. And in fact, they actually can't survive if they aren't able to breathe oxygen from air from time to time. They'll otherwise drown. So oxygen-deprived waters are no problem for these pioneering fish. For more facts on Bashirs and Reedfish, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Atrocious Allosaurus for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.